I'm Amy. I'm Eric. Uh, and today on That Going In In Live, we are going to give you our one month update on our weight loss journey, for lack of a better word. Yep. All right. So, uh, first, before we get really into it, I kind of want to talk about something that's a big deal. Uh, my non scale victory, or NSV, as the weight loss Instagram people did. I didn't even know if that was until just now. Is that a hashtag? I'm way behind. Yes. You kids and your hashtags. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so hey, I want to show you people something. So uh, we did start exercising. We'll get into exactly what we did in a little bit. But my non-scale victory is is my exercise video. I started off with the five pound weights, and I am currently doing ten pound weights. Usually two, but I can't do it. So uh, in just a couple of weeks, I was able to grow my muscles and or challenge myself and or uh, gain confidence in being able to use heavier weights. So good job. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> that forced me to go up. Yeah, I was of... using the tens and now I'm doing fifteens. <laughs> so Yeah, so we both we both, we both got stronger. Every time she has to move up that means I have to move up. It's, it's because fine. we have one weight set that we, we share. One weight set. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that was like, that was really cool. That was really cool because I didn't expect to like get stronger so fast. So like that it really boosted my confidence and stuff. Do you have any? Non-scale NSVs, hashtag NSVs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's um, going to make fun of me all night. <laughs> I did, sort of. I think it was more of just a genuine shock of my, my reflection in the mirror. I think as I started noticing like, huh, I feel like I have less chins going on down here. <laughs> and then like I noticed that my shirts kind of like are a little bit looser than they were like he a month looking, ago. So. He is looking so good. Like y you could tell when he wears clothes and like is standing up walking around and stuff like yeah, cause that. Yeah, because my shirt's like way out here. I know. And like there's nothing there. It's just It just hangs it's weird just, now. I was wearing a red shirt the other day when we were at Disneyland and it just hung really weird and I was like well I guess that's where some of my belly used to be <laughs> yeah yeah so we went to Disneyland and we just took pictures and he was wearing a shirt that he wore in Disney World like a, a couple weeks or months ago or whatever and so like we were able to compare difference and for him like you could really see yeah which is awesome it's nice I mean obviously I have a really it's not, I'm not satisfied with what I've lost but by any means but like it's fun to see results in that sort of way yeah where it's not like I weighed myself knowing uh, like oh that's the only way I can tell that I'm mm -hmm. losing weight is just by the scale but like being able to like even notice it in myself mm -hmm. which was kind of fun so well should we tell them how much we lost in one month sure you go first I lost 10 pounds in a month 10 pounds that's yeah. amazing I'm, I'm pretty thanks I'm pretty happy with it um there's definitely been some up and down so I guess I'll just I'll, I'll tell them so my first week um oh by the way I'm doing Weight Watchers WW as they now call it I have feelings about that anyway so the first week I lost five pounds which I was like wow that's incredible the second week I watched four I lost four pounds which I was like what what is happening and then the third week I gained half a pound We'll talk about week. that. We will talk <laughs> about that. And then the last week, I dropped a pound. So that was kind of my... So really, you lost 11 pounds? Wait, say that again. You lost how many pounds first time? Five, four, I gained like half a pound, then I lost oh, okay. That's a pound. Funny. Yeah, because I lost like a little bit more than a pound, so it, whatever. It uh, it got to 10. Yeah. Yeah. You want to tell oh, about Oh, my you? turn. Okay. So I wrote it all on the board over there. <laughs> yeah, we have a motivation board. So over there. Uh, the first week I lost 15 pounds, which is kind of a lot. Um, and then the second week I lost a pound, which is pretty normal for anybody who knows. Like, if you start a diet, usually the first week your body completely is like, I don't know what you're doing. I'm freaking just gonna get out. rid of all and this weight like you out. wanted me to. <laughs> and then usually week two you don't 
if if you lose a pound, you're lucky to lose. It. The fact that she lost four was like I that was amazing because I was like what? Because that so we the way we did it was we went a week with just dieting and then we added exercise the, the second week. So the second week I lost a pound and I was kind of a little annoyed because like what? Mm. But it was fine because two weeks of 16 pounds is pretty amazing. But then uh, over the course of the next couple weeks, I lost 10 more. So my total for the month is 25. So that's cool. It's Yay, very exciting. That's amazing. 25 in a month is pretty good, I have to say. Yeah, that's that's incredible. Um, so so should we talk about maybe some highs and lows? Okay, let me get the ele let's. I want to talk about the elephant in the room. Uh, I guess not elephant in the room. No one cares but me. Of me gaining half a pound, that was that was hard. Like that was really really hard because. I think that was the week where I was kicking it up. I think we worked six days. We worked out six days in a row. Mm -hmm. So our what we're doing is is that we're working out five days in a row, not five days, five days, five days a week. And we're doing it together and we're watching this awesome video. It's called- I already linked it in the description in the last video. Oh. The Body Fit by Amy. Yeah, we really like her. So. Okay, cool. She's cool. She does really good things. So, um, we like we really kicked it up that week, and then I gained like I gained half a pound, and I was, and that was really hard because it was I guess it was just confusing to me because when when people are talking about weight loss on like YouTube or anything like that or Instagram, people are always like, well, you lose weight by. Uh, more calories out the more calories in and it makes it sound so simple like it just from the way people describe it it just sounds like simple math but from my experience i don't think it's that simple i i feel like there's a lot more that goes into it i i'm obviously still learning um about what that was but it was really like it was really hard but we i didn't give up yeah you did a good job. Oh, thanks. That's what the path was for. I was patting you to say you did a good job. Oh. Not freaking out too much. Yeah, I freaked out a little bit. Like, I didn't cry, which... A miracle in itself. <laughs> but, yeah, but, but, like, we just kept on and it just, like... So, so, I was getting a little bit frustrated about that. So, what I started to do was I started to do... So, I'm doing Weight Watchers, which, in case you don't know, they have like a points based system so each food is worth a certain amount of points and um i decided to also track my fitness pal which my fitness pal is an app where where it uh tracks calories along with some other like carbohydrates fats and whatever so i just wanted to be a little bit more informed um and i figured that dual thing um, might help me. I still don't have necessarily like a conclusion or I don't understand why that happened uh, but I'm hoping maybe as I go along I will learn a little bit more about like my body and exactly what my body needs to be healthy so yeah you know everybody is different mm -hmm. so um oh, go ahead me, me, me. Can I share, okay, can I share one thing that I learned? So, one thing that I learned through this is that for for me, eating breakfast, like a real breakfast with protein is actually like, it is very important for the day because I used to not be a breakfast person at all. And if I did eat breakfast, actually, I would basically eat sourdough toast and orange juice, which sourdough toast, carbs orange juice sugar so it would basically be a lot of like sugary things so when it comes lunch like I was pretty hungry and ready for lunch and so now like I'm actually eating like a lot more substantial breakfast but it kind of sets me up so where I'm not like overeating or whatever so I learned that eating eggs or different form different things with eggs what really helped me out and that was really helpful yeah I kind of had a weird moment the first month that I was dieting um so because I'm doing like a keto low carb thing I used to, I used to call it Atkins it's not Atkins anymore it's just a keto diet so there's this thing they you get it's called the keto flu it makes mm -hmm. you miserable and I don't know if I got that or if I got food poisoning because it's the same thing so um I had gone to I think Wingstop and I got just like 
uh, wings because you can it's chicken and so I got that and the pretty much th that night I was already feeling it and so it was it was a rough night but um I had that and I had, had basically like I, I have a problem with caffeine and Diet Coke and I it's like I'm addicted to it and so because I went through this thing where I was really sick I was super dehydrated I obviously wasn't gonna drink Diet Coke because I'm so dehydrated and I already had like terrible headaches that I just decided to kind of keep not drinking caffeine to see how long I could go and it wasn't really anything like that made me stop I just was like let's just once I'm once you're through the like the first 24 or 48 hours of headaches like you don't really feel bad anymore unless you're like a high if you're taking like a ton of caffeine a day yeah you're gonna feel it when you, but I you know it's not that much so uh, anyways so I decided to not drink caffeine and so for the next couple of weeks I hadn't pretty much almost all month I didn't have any caffeine which was pretty fun kind of a different experience because like I just fell asleep when I was tired instead of staying up till like four in the morning playing video games or doing something because the caffeine keeps me awake um, and it was fun to be like be able to exercise and actually feel the tiredness of that and kind of like deal with things that way so that was really fun I had a I've recently uh, I had a Diet Coke today I had one yesterday or the day before too and it just was one of those things where I was like eh and I just keep drinking my water because it's really important but um, I mean there's nothing that says you can't drink caffeine in any diet really unless it's a non-caffeine diet diet but well I think general I think common sense says Diet Coke probably not healthy probably but not but it was just really interesting to go from like oh I'm and then not have caffeine either so I cut out like bread and sugar and caffeine and so it was kind of like weird but I was fine with it you know yeah. so um but yeah I think the 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 biggest difference this time that I'm trying to do compared to like some of the last times I've done it is the the water intake is much higher than it's been before um it's really important to drink water on diets because it helps you sort of flush things out uh mostly fat I mean honestly like you're especially on on the keto diet what happens is your your body sort of flushes things out every couple days with the water and so like that's why you're like losing weight so quickly is because it's just like your fat is the energy and it's being flushed out with water so yeah we have a new favorite uh app that we use it's called uh plant nanny so Fun. so every time you drink water you feed your plant some water and then it, it's cute and you're, you grow a plant yep but um we should probably talk about my birthday too a little bit. Oh yeah. So my birthday was different. Still banners. Yeah, that's what that's from. <laughs> yeah, birthday they, decorations. <laughs> there's some birthday decorations in here still. Uh, yeah, so obviously birthdays and holidays, I feel like in any family, a lot of it revolves around food. Um, but what we're trying to do, at least for six months, is we are not cheating on our diet for six months mm -hmm. and both of our birthdays fall in that six month period and mine just happened to be first yep within like i think mine was three weeks after we started <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's usually a deal breaker for us honestly like yeah i think if we were in our happened. old mindset it would have been like oh let's go on this diet until your birthday and then we would have probably done whatever we wanted after that yeah because that actually was a downfall for us so we've we've started and stopped different diets both of us together and it's always been like okay so we'll be good and then we'll like go on a trip and then we'll get back on we say we get back on but it we just fall off like we can't we can't handle cheat days that's why we're doing six months of no cheat days because we're just we just know ourselves and we can't do it yeah. so so for my birthday we went to Disneyland we brought our own stuff right yep. we ate we breakfast at home, went to Disneyland, had fun, brought treats, then we went out for Chick-fil-A because we could eat. We both can eat at Chick-fil-A. We could both eat chi chicken. Yeah, we could both be healthy for Chick-fil-A. And then, I don't know, well, but it doesn't matter. And then for, instead of birthday cake, I had sugar-free Jello. <laughs> And <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs> and, and yeah, and I don't know what we did for dinner, but it doesn't matter. But anyway, we stuck to 
I kept within my points. I, w I don't think I was tracking calories then, I don't remember. Um, and he did not cheat on his diet, and you wanna know something? My birthday was great. I was not sad because, like I just wasn't sad because you know what, like birthdays, holidays, celebration, like I'm not celebrating or we're not celebrating the food, you know, like yeah. we're not. Well, in it, the past it's basically what we're doing. Yeah, where it's like, hey, we're celebrating me, my birthday, <laughs> you know, and like, and he made me feel really loved and like really special and my family too. And it was like, and it was a, it was simpler and we did have to like talk to my parents and stuff saying like, hey, we're not, we're not having big fancy mm -hmm. dinner. We're not doing these different things. But instead, a couple of days before, like we went out and we saw um, at our theater we saw the play Aladdin and it was awesome so it's like you could still bond and do things with the people you love you like you could still celebrate your birthday like I got a year older and it was still fun but we didn't we just who cares I've had cake I've had like 30 years of cake yeah you know or whatever yeah, so. it was it was fun it was a different experience it felt good to kind of get through that Mm -hmm. without being like, oh, we get to cheat now. Yeah. And like, so we're past it in the next, my birthday is in a couple of months, and so we'll get past it then. And and it wasn't like, I just, I felt really good about myself and I felt really proud, you know, and I didn't necessarily feel deprived because I was filled with a sense of like hope for the future, you know, like hope for what I want my future to be like. And I don't want my future to be defined by what food I eat. Yeah. Yeah, so one month in, yeah. we're doing pretty good so far. Uh, hopefully month two goes just as well. We started some new fitness routine stuff. Um, mm -hmm. We kind of went up. We're trying to alternate. We're trying to do the first video every, like basically two days a week and the, and the new video three other days a week. We're still doing YouTube videos, watching yeah, I mean, them. We're probably gonna keep doing the YouTube We like it, it's because. free. Yeah, it's free. It's like back in the day when they used to just have, like, you have to buy a million fitness DVDs yeah. or CD or, I guess, tapes for you older people like me, but, um, VHSs. My mom had so many workout VHSs when I was growing up. Anyways. That's fine. My mom recorded them from a TV and we used to have to fast forward through the commercial. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> but yeah, YouTube's great for that stuff. Um, yeah. a lot of resources, so. Yeah. But, so we're still learning, so we're... Yeah, so we don't know everything, obviously, but... Right, and so this month we're really going to try to focus... We'll probably have a couple more videos involving... She wants food and probably recipe stuff. Mm -hmm. Mine will be really boring because it's the same thing. He eats I the same thing. I literally eat the same, same thing. thing. Like, I'm eating eggs, usually for breakfast, or a, like a shake. Or I have tacos or enchilada for dinner. And I'm going to try to branch out this month. Maybe I'll make maybe him some chicken. Maybe I make him chicken every once in a while, but he's I'm sticking to the same foods because I know they help me mm -hmm. and they're not I mean I use I use turkey meat So yeah Anyways Thanks for watching. Yep. Here's to another month of success, right? Let's yeah. hope so. Yeah. Bye guys <laughs>